home buying process, it might be a little intimidating, especially when you're applying for a mortgage. You naturally may want to go and talk to your bank because you already have an established relationship with them, but that might not always be the best option, especially when financing your home purchase. There's really three things that you should be looking for when you're applying for a mortgage and speaking with a lender, and it might be in your best interest as well to shop lenders and talk to a few to compare those rate and quotes. That's a great point, actually. So it is a good idea to shop lenders unless we're the first lender that you spoke with. But in all seriousness, you actually have a window of time in which you can have your credit pulled by more than one lender and it doesn't impact the scores negatively because that's a big thing that deters people from looking at different options is, oh, I already had my credit pulled. I really don't want to have another pull because that inquiry is going to hurt my score. A period of time in which you can shop lenders where the score will not be impacted and typically it's 45 days. Too. As Sam said, when you're comparing lenders, there's really three things you're gonna to wanna to look at from one lender to the next. For one, the level of service provided by that lender, right? Not every home buyer is looking for the same thing when it comes to service. And I'm referencing primarily customer service. Are you someone who needs a lender to be available outside of nine to five business hours? Well, a bank might not be the best option in that case because most banks close at 5 p.m. and aren't available to you on the weekend, right? Banking hours. A lender like us or other lenders similar to us might be available to you around the clock. We're available all the time. If we're awake, we reply. That's important to a lot of people, but not all. Of course, as Sam said, the interest rate is something that you're gonna wanna compare, right? What's the interest rate being offered by that lender? And more important than the interest rate itself, what's the cost or charges from that lender to give you that interest rate? Because a rate might be low, but the charges might be high and vice versa. So you wanna look at charges, interest rate, and level of service when comparing lenders and don't get caught up with things such as third-party charges because at the end of the day, the third-party costs are gonna be the same with every single banker lender regardless of who you choose to work with.